based on a show that was done in the 80s, which I never knew of. I thought, mm, this is before my time. I mean, I, I basically slept through the 80s, so... <laughs> oh well. But it's really quite a sensational film, and it's nothing short of sit on the edge of your seat and an adrenaline rush at best. It's really an incredible film, and I highly, highly, HIGHLY recommend it. It is nothing short than spectacular, and I can't say enough good things about it. It just, I know there are probably some moments where people think, well, it seems kind of boring and it seems kind of slow. It really isn't. There really aren't any lulls. It's just, it's building up to what this, um, this man is all about and what he does for a living. And <laughs> uh, Denzel Washington is the biggest badass of all badassery. He's just <laughs> remarkable. He is nothing short of miraculous in, in what he does and how he executes every little thing. And the acting is uh, just above and beyond the pale, I think. And uh, I give it four stars and five. F I give it four stars, two thumbs, way up. <laughs> no contest. It's probably the best film I've seen in a good long while. And if you're looking for a solid action film and one that has actual plot, not one that doesn't just blow things up for <laughs> the whole notion of having items blow up for your entertainment, but it's got plot moving that along, and it's built in for the mechanization of that plot, and it, it's nice to see things move from one thing to the next, and you, you just wonder, well, what's going to happen, and it's, it's just always something that you're intrigued with a character, and you're rooting for him because he's the hero, and he is the only person, it seems, that is going against all these bad guys who think they can push everybody else around, and, and then it shows the, the corruptness of uh, Boston cops, which I think is pretty accurate, because <laughs> I think a lot of New York cops are corrupt. I don't think this is anything new, so I thought that was really quite telling and also very disturbing. <laughs> On the other hand, I thought, yeah, this is pretty much six o'clock news in New York. <laughs> yeah, th this is this is everyday life. This isn't anything that's fake at all. That that is truth. That is that is not false at all. Um, some 
police officers are more corrupt than others. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> Not all police officers are bad, but this this is just showing that some people that you think that you can trust, you really can't. And um, kind of makes you wonder. <laughs> so when my dad and I were talking about that, he, he said, when people say, I hate the government, they're really saying, I hate I hate myself <laughs> because we are the government. Anyway, that's, that's another um, discussion for another time, but uh, <coughs> we were talking about how this movie is so symbolic and allegorical, and it just uh, is splendid in the way that it does so, and I'm not going to tell you why, because that would be a major plot point, and I would ruin the entire film if I talked about it, but if you've seen the movie, then you understand why I say it's allegorical and symbolic, and uh, how everything is done. There's one reason why I think it was filmed in Boston, other than the fact that there's a sea and everything. Uh, Ileana, when, when we meet her character, she's wearing these earbuds that say, I love M.A., and I thought, it says, I love Massachusetts, so... Well, it could be. It could have been Maine. Who do I? How do I know? Um, the the bridge looked fairly iconic, so it was most likely Boston. But I'm not sure. If anybody knows, then please let me know because I don't want to be in the wrong. Uh, basically, that's all I have to say about uh, the Equalizer, and it was just awesome. I mean, the most radical film I've seen in a good, good long while definitely worth seeing. It's worth your time. It's worth the money, I, I think, in my opinion, because <laughs> it just kicks so much butt. <laughs>